What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope every like everyone's doing well. I hope everyone having a fun time going back to school. I don't know. But today we're going to look at this beautiful monitor here from BenQ. And I can tell you that BenQ is finally listening to the consumer market because the Mobius lineup, the Mobius stuff that they have coming, the design, the whole new idea of their gaming lineup, it looks amazing. Now the overall design of the monitor was like well done. My gripe with BenQ monitors in the past were their stands. The, <laughs> the monitor stands and the lack of adjustability thereof. Now, the Mobius monitor that I have right here finally fixes that, which is good to see, and good job from BenQ. So unboxing and setting up the monitor itself was pretty simple and straightforward. Inside the box, you get a HDMI cable, a power cable, the monitor base which I really like probably my favorite monitor base designed from BenQ we also get a cable port cover to keep the back or around the cable port area looking clean we also get the monitor stand itself which has all the adjustability that you might need with your monitor then finally the monitor of course which was surprisingly lightweight <laughs> knowing that we have um the speakers bit like considering we have the speakers inside of here two 2.5 watt speakers as well now setting up the monitor the setup process was as easy as placing the base down and then you attach the stand right inside of the base then you have like this screw mechanism at the bottom of the base where you just screw in until you feel it tighten and you're good to go all right now the setup process out the way, now let's get all the specs out the way. So the BenQ Mobius EX2710 offers a 1920x1080p resolution, 2ms G2G response time, a 1ms MPRT response time when using the blur reduction mode. It also has a 1000x1 contrast ratio, a really good brightness level, 178x178 viewing angle, and a standard 99% sRGB color gamut, which is good for creating content like for what I do on a regular. For connectivity, there's one Display Port 1.A, two HDMI 2.0 port, and also a headphone jack. All of, like all of that only for $299, which is like $300. Now, first off, let's talk about the design, and BenQ nailed it here with the overall aesthetic of the monitor with a premium looking stand and a thin bezel. Now, this is the first monitor review like I think I have did from BenQ where I didn't recommend you guys to get like a vase amount because this stand and everything is solid. The stand offers tilt, height, and swivel adjustments. You can't really turn it around 90 degrees, but that's fine. Now, all those adjustments comes in clutch when you want that perfect viewing angle. I also like the subtle BenQ branding. Unlike some monitors I've seen that has their logo on the front, in bright white or gray the benq logo on the monitor isn't distracting while playing games or anything now around the back of the monitor we also have the mobius logo and it's like really subtle at the top and at the bottom we have a few controls for the on-screen display now the joystick is used to control the on-screen display it's easy to navigate in the menus and everything you just click it once you could go through the settings you could control things like brightness contrast to hdri modes to the eye care technology options straight down to the volume and you could control like different audio types the display itself is a 27 inch ips panel and it looks great they also have a smaller 25 inches model which is called the ex2510 which is a little cheaper at 249 but for me personally i love the larger display more because i could edit I could see my timeline in a larger display. I could edit my pictures here and see more on the display. So larger canvas to me is a good thing. And I've been using it for the past like three weeks right now and it has done good. It has a pixel density of around 82. So text and images isn't that sharp, but if you're a nerd like me and you pixel peep, you will see the pixels, but in real world usage, if you're just there using the monitor playing games, you'll be fine. Now color accuracy is spot on. 
all the colors look vibrant and like natural games like Fall Guys, Red, Red Redemption, all that stuff. It's pure fun. It just looks amazing. Now we also have a couple display modes you could choose from, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So you have the HDRI game HDRI and also the HDRI for cinema. Now the HDR support is real and it's way better than using a standard dynamic range. If any games you play support HDR, you definitely need to try out the HDRI modes. Not all of them will look good, but for me games like Red Dead Redemption 2 really benefits from the better contrast ratio you get with the HDRI and also the wider range of color and brightness. The, the clouds pop more, dark areas look brighter, and it just gives off a more realistic and immersive feel when playing video games. We also have a couple speakers here. The speakers also sound great. They fill up the room and I appreciate BenQ for adding or putting in some speakers into here and the speakers are from Trevolo. Normally, you know, you have your headphones on all day, your ears start to get tired and then you take off your headphones, you can't really listen to anything. You're just chilling at the desk. So having these two 2.5 watt speakers is really good. When you get tired of your headphones, you could sit back, you could play games with the speakers and everything, you'll be fine. Now, to me, the cinema preset sounds the best, and I know the mic won't pick up the best audio quality or anything like that, but here's a few examples of what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright guys, so let me quickly show you the different HDRI settings you have. So it's running my favorite one right now, which is the FPS mode, which has the black equalizer. So it's good for like FPS games. So if I turn down the black equalizer, you could see how dark certain area gets now. If I turn it back up, you could see like, let me pause it right here. You could see, let's go all the way back down. So this is how it usually looks. So if someone's down here in these tunnels, you can't really see them, but if you turn the black equalizer up it brightens under this tunnel right here so it could spot enemies way easier all right now next up we have like the cinema HDR and you can see how dark that looks switch to the game HDRI and standard HDRI and then this is what the sRGB looks like and the standard itself so yeah, as you can see, it does a really good job. If you're worried about the monitor only being 1080p and running at 144Hz, remember, most people who are buying this monitor isn't going to have the hardware to push games over 240 FPS and at 4K resolution. So what's the point? You know, these monitors are made for gamers who are on a budget or gamers who play competitive games such as the FPS titles I mentioned earlier. Now, the gaming experience is good. All right, especially with the one millisecond response time you're getting here, 144 hertz refresh rate and the color accuracy of BenQ, 99% sRGB is almost perfect. Not to mention it also supports free sync, premium and compatible G-Sync. With even the 2.5 watt speakers, like where can you find this deal? Let me know down below in the comments. There's also some exclusive enhancements such as their light tuner containing 20 profiles for a large range of game genres and also their back their black equalizer for brightening dark corners and shadows which is perfect for campers and games now the scenario mapping feature auto selects your settings so when the input source is switched for a quick setup so that's really handy lastly you know we have the BenQ eye care technology which is good for low blue light mode to protect your eyes during long hours of gameplay or video editing or whatever you might be doing at this desk I don't know, <laughs> but all BenQ have to do now, in my opinion, is make this monitor 240 hertz, and yeah, they win. The design is good, it looks good, the price is good. The only thing that's missing to me is 240 hertz, but probably if they put some 240 hertz panel in here, it will start to compete with their other brand, which is 
Zoe. I don't know if you guys know BenQ Zoe. They have some like top quality 240 hertz displays, which like esports professional use at tournaments. So this is why I always trust BenQ when it comes on to like gaming with their monitors. So this is why I know this one millisecond is true and you won't go wrong here. Now, if I missed anything, please let me know down below in the comments. And also if you're new here, subscribe for more. And let me know what else you want to see on this monitor as I've only had it for around three, four weeks now. Normally with my monitor reviews, I take a month or so, but I wanted to get this one out for you guys because not a lot of videos are out right now on this monitor. So yeah, as always guys, love, peace, and happy gaming. Signing out.